I'm Sid Howell. I direct all the full-time consultancy projects by MBA students. I studied at Cambridge and I've worked for Alcan, Ranks Hovix McDougall, Philips Electronic Components and IBM before I took a PhD at Manchester Business School. While I've been at Manchester, I've been involved with several multi-million pound uh, operations for big clients, which have included IBM, Arthur Anderson, and BP. The IB project is one of the most important things in my life at MBS because it's our chance to try to reach the highest standards of rigor that we expect our students to be able to show either in leading corporate organizations which are based on science or based on data such as FMCG companies, leading drug companies, uh, or if they go into leading consultancy or financial services operations. So what we're trying to do is develop the standards of rigor to produce evidence-based work which is clearly reported. And what we're always striving to do is to think outside the immediate assignment the, cli uh, the client has set us so that we can question the basics of thinking in the area. And the ideal solution is when we can reach a position of thought leadership where we're able to set targets, a route ahead, and a way of measuring progress for a significant area of the business for a period of time into the future. Uh, some examples that we're allowed to say a little bit about, for example, we had an influence in the case of Tesco on developing their con convenience store strategy. We have also helped a major drug company to revise its pricing policy in the developing world. And we have also worked with leading service operations to redefine the kind of service they're offering. And in the case of one major retailer, Maxida, uh, we helped them to devise a store location strategy and a market dominance strategy for the Benelux area. These are the kind of outputs we'd like to see, but equally, we're happy to work with tiny businesses, family businesses, or small startups, uh, which have their own kinds of uh, personal problems. Working closely with the students is the most rigorous way that they can learn actually how to do something. They can learn all the slogans, but when they actually think and they actually calculate and then they're, they're right, then they show their weaknesses, they show the areas that they can't understand. And we as academics are completely committed at the same time because we don't know the right answer anyway. This is the real world. Things are evolving. And as we work closely with companies in the IB project, we're constantly aware of what a wide selection of leading companies are thinking of and concerned about at the time. For example, at this moment, we have just had our first project where instead of trying to source from China, a client is saying, show us a way to diversify our sourcing away from China. Uh, another key theme at the moment is the developing power of the middle classes, lower middle classes in South America and Africa. And there again, this can affect a wide range of industries from basic foodstuffs, medical products, uh, to drugs, to cars. And this again is, is an instance of the way the world is changing.